Wow, look at all the boats. Some good foam. This is how you can wear it. What this is? It's broken. Let's blend this baby. I like the thick, icy part. If someone wanted to enter it, it's not possible. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this new video. I am still in Da Nang, in Vietnam. And I'm gonna do... That's such a fail. Oh my god, okay, I destroyed my pants. But I'm gonna do something where I'm really excited of. If you follow me for a while, you know that I'm not the best in it yet because I can be a little bit scared sometimes, but it's time to improve my skills. I wonder if you can guess what it is if I show you this. Maybe you can see it already, but let's go inside first. Wow, look how beautiful the horses are. Oh my god, I'm so excited. If you didn't guess it yet, I'm gonna learn how to do horse riding. And I'm really in the middle of nowhere. Morning! In Vietnam. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Oh! You were born yesterday. Yesterday! Huh? Wow! That's so nice. And who is the mom? Oh. Hello, mom. So she gave birth yesterday. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's five minutes later and there's a little change of plans. Something went wrong with booking, which is completely fine. It can happen, but I'm gonna come back another day, but I don't know when yet, but definitely stay tuned if you want to see me riding a horse. <laughs> and it's still really cute that the baby one is born yesterday. That's so cool. Okay, then now let's drive back to Da Nang. It's like a 23 minutes drive. I'm gonna get a coffee, I think, and I might go for a swim. Okay, since I'm now more here in the village side, let's fly the drone because I haven't been here before yet and I wonder how it looks from there. I see so many cows now, but I actually want to go again. I want to fly to the cows. Okay, I'm gonna go one more time. I love how the cows actually didn't care at all. This is how you can wear a helmet in Vietnam and I cannot get it more tight. Like I tried so much, but it doesn't work. Okay, now let's drive back and find some breakfast and coffee. I really need coffee. And I might go for horse riding today with sunset or otherwise in one of the upcoming days. So stay tuned for it. Good morning. <laughs> and I finally made it to this place. Here you can see it, it's always so full and it is always like packed with people here. So I don't understand why I'm the only one. But here you can see sort of the prices of everything. I just ordered iced cappuccino, it's 40,000. Normally, sometimes it's 60, so I think the prices are really good. Now I just have to look for some food. After my breakfast on the beach, I quickly went back home where I am right now. By the way, I have so much to update you because I've been sick for the last three days i didn't film any vlogs for the last three days i have filmed things for the guide which will be online soon as well so stay tuned for that but right now i just packed my bag here and i'm gonna go to a cafe to work every day i'm going to another cafe because i want to find all the best cafes here in danang of course so let's go now also one other thing i still want to say is that i'm gonna move out of this apartment this Saturday and I found another really nice apartment because I didn't always feel really nice in the night in this apartment so I can't wait to move to another one it's actually even better if I can say so I can't wait to go there But now there's no one anymore and I love it. I had another coffee, my third coffee of today. <laughs> and it's not even 12 yet. 
It's going great. I love the coffee here in Vietnam. <laughs> I just found this store with a lot of sportwear. Pin? Yeah. <laughs> what I wanted to say is that I just went to this store and I just bought another sport jacket. I will show it to you when I'm at home. I really love shopping here in Vietnam. It's my guilty pleasure and it's all so cheap compared to other places in the world because a lot of things are made here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I just bought and it's this cute sport vest. It's like a little bit tight but that's the vibe of this and it has this cute things. If I'm gonna go to the gym or if I'm on the scooter in Bali in the morning and it's too cold, I can wear it or if I'm gonna hike a mountain or if I'm gonna do running outside. So what what do you think of it? I really like it. I think it's cute. Tight, but it should be really tight, I think. And next, I got some other things. Let me show you. I went to Han Market in the last video and now I went back. I've already been back one more time because there were so many things and I was just way too overwhelmed the first time. I already got a few of these and now I have some more. It's like fake Nike. By the way, how cool is this color? I love purple. And there's like a pocket where you can put your phone inside. And I really like it. The only thing is it's really Asian sizes. It's three times XL. Here you can see it. I really like that there's the pocket as well. My phone even fits inside. It doesn't look like it, but I tried and it really fits. And there's this layer under it. So I got this one in a few colors. Also here, green and black. And I already got this one a few days ago in some more colors. But I'm loving it. So I paid 200,000 for this one. And for the shorts, they are 80,000 per piece. Of course, it's fake. Hello! How are you today? Good! <laughs> I love this juice place so much. I'm really living there right now. But I will honestly drive here if I moved to another place because their juices are so good and really fresh. I always ask without sugar. And the prices are really, really good as well. Wow, this huge juice was 23,000. I asked for upsize. Let's give it a try! Oh! really healthy it's carrot orange juice it's so funny that i say it's really healthy i don't say it's delicious but it's really healthy it's really nice actually it's 50 minutes later you can see the lady buddha here and there are some paragliders i'm not sure if you can see it but there is one but i'm gonna do this in two days as well and i'm actually so excited I don't know if you can see it, but I am so dripping in sweat. And then here you can see the building over there. That's where I came from. So it took me 15 minutes to walk, almost one hour. And the sunset is on this side, but I'm slowly gonna walk back. Oh, the clouds are so beautiful as well. But I'm gonna walk back. I don't think I'm gonna run again, but just walk. And this is actually one of the things that I love so much about the neck that like it's so easy to walk. There are so many people like playing games on the beach and the roads are good to walk like it's a really really long street it's really really nice i actually missed that oh wow this is the first time i see this they do a ceremony i don't know what this is you if you know what it is let me know in the comments because i'm curious now let's walk back and we're gonna time and see how long it takes to go almost all the way from the end till the main part the center let me tell you about hola fly easy <laughs> If you love traveling, it's super important to always stay connected. That's why I want to tell you about Hola Fly eSIM. They have an application and you can easily purchase the internet for the country you're visiting. And what I love the most is you will have internet from the moment you land in a new country. So you don't have to wait until you're at the exit and you have to buy a physical SIM card and you will not lose your phone number. They offer unlimited data in more than 100 countries worldwide. I honestly cannot imagine traveling without Hola Fly anymore. So please make sure to check the link down here and you will get 5% off with the code Janine. So make sure to check it out. Now let's go back to the video. I'm almost back and this is happening again. This always happens here in the night. Oh my God, I think I found some good faux. By the way, it took me like 55 minutes to walk back and I'm now calling with a friend so I couldn't update you but I'm gonna call back with her now and eat my food. That's also really fun if you do solo traveling to just call with the food you're eating. I 
order the bread as well. It's really, really good. Go here, this is really the best faux. And I had number one, let me show you. I had this one, 60,000, which is like two euro. It's not like the most fancy place, but trust me, this is really good. The flavor is so nice. It's actually so nice to walk back, like this is the main street. And there are so many things to see here. I actually still want to stop at like a, a small supermarket because I don't have water anymore. And I want to buy chocolate. I think a Kit Kat or like a Snickers or something. Because am I the only one who always craves sweet food or chocolate after salty food? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you also have that because I know for sure that I'm not the only one. Okay, I'm gonna shower soon. I just came back. But I want to try the chocolate things I bought. First I got two bottles of water because we have to stay hydrated then oh my god okay i, I have a kit kat cookies and cream oh by the way my taste buds are still not fully back yet but i can smell it and the food i tried before also tasted good so i think i can taste this because chocolate is a heavy flavor mm, it's warm okay Mm, I love the crunch because there's Oreo or something mixed in the chocolate. But the flavor is not as good as a normal one. I'm gonna be honest, but I'm still gonna enjoy it, of course. And then I got this in the Netherlands. I always used to eat things like this. And here I saw it. Oh. I don't know if this is normal. <laughs> it's like pudding. But why is it so watery on the top? Oh my god. Okay, I have to say that I expected that this was chocolate mousse instead of pudding because I'm not the biggest fan of pudding and jelly things. And I really love chocolate mousse, but let's give it a try. Mm, no, this is not my thing. It also looks so weird. I don't know if it's still good. But of course I'm still gonna eat it. But then this is my favorite out of the two. Next time, better. <laughs> I'm gonna shower now and I will see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning. I really just woke up and I'm gonna go to the beach now. I am gonna go for a little morning swim and I'm really excited about it. So I'm packing my bag now and let's go. Am I the only one who does this if I sleep alone? Like if someone wanted to enter, it's not possible because there's like an extra lock. I wonder if I'm the only one. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> It was so nice and refreshing and I'm now off to find a coffee and I think I know a place I haven't been there before but I passed by a few times and I'm just gonna walk there and hopefully find some good coffee. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Can I get one iced cappuccino? Yeah. No sugar. just had an iced cappuccino and the girl was so nice and so beautiful and I asked what she uses for her skin and she mentioned Estee Lauder. It's a bit on the pricey side but wow her skin was so beautiful and the coffee was really good as well and I actually expected I can pay with my phone but I couldn't so I'm gonna go back after this to pay with cash which is really nice it was really really friendly. There's just a fish here on the street. Oh my god, I was in shock. I am getting ready now. <laughs> I just came out of the shower and I have to pack all my stuff now. And then I'm gonna go for breakfast. I still have to go to the ETM because I need to pay for the coffee I just had. And after that, I actually have quite a busy day because today at 4.30, I'm finally gonna do the horse riding where I'm so excited about. My whole room is such a mess. But I'm moving tomorrow, so I am accepting it. And I also have a coffee workshop at 12.30. I actually can't wait for that as well. Because I really love coffee and I love the coffee here in Vietnam as well. So I can't wait to know the recipes and all the secrets. And of course, I'm going to share everything here as well. Okay, I have all my stuff. So I got everything and I even still have 45 in cash. Which is for the coffee, so I don't have to go to the ETM now, I will go later. Which I like, because I cannot wait to eat. <laughs> my shoes are gone. This is really suspicious. Oh my god, they are here. I am so brave. So what I also want to say is that I'm gonna mention the coffee workshop and the horse riding place in the description. So if you want to check it out, you can check it out. I'm not paid to do this, but I just want to share all the information that I know with you. I actually think I should extend my bike because I feel like I'm here already for two weeks, but he didn't text yet. So uh, I might have to text him. <laughs> Oh, 
and I'm gonna go upstairs. Downstairs there are a lot of people and upstairs there's almost no one. And I like that. Okay, so I have arrived somewhere near by the coffee workshop. I don't know where it is, but I'm just parking here. And I will text the lady that I have arrived. I'm excited. I hope I'm gonna learn how to make the coconut coffee and the egg coffee, of course, and the salted coffee. I think I'm gonna do four coffees. I think that's included. So let's have a look. And we have arrived upstairs. This is for the coffee workshop. And here, I think is everything we need. Oh, I will move? Yeah. <laughs> let's make some coffee. Okay, what's it? So the first one, the material. Wash and the first one. Okay. So first this get washed. Thank you. It's a lot actually. To the bottom. To right? the dots. Yeah. yeah. And how did you grind this coffee? Okay. We buy it. We buy the packet from ground the factory. Already. So you buy it already ground. Yes, right. 10 milliliter under. And 10 on the top. Oh, yes, right. Yeah. All what has gone. Step three, you take off the lid, 50 milliliter. And then you put the lid. All done. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wait, dripping down. Okay, it's dripping down, you see? Oh, yeah. We're gonna make egg coffee now. So you need two eggs. For one cup, and you only need the egg yolk. It's chicken egg. It's broken. Ah, it's okay. You just throw it in. Yeah. Okay. Because it's too hot. Too hot. Because it's too hot. Uh, so the, the, yeah, the egg is not cooked well. <laughs> it's already cooked. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. <laughs> I really believed you. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> you never know, it's so hot in Den Haag. It's so okay. okay. That's one. Welcome to this cook show. <laughs> I don't know why, but my yellow keeps breaking. Ooh. Okay, two egg yolks are in. And then sugar, okay. Five grams of sugar and condensed milk. Yeah, 10 grams. Yeah, 10 milliliter. 10 milliliter of condensed milk. We also add it in this magic jar. Mm. <laughs> Just a little bit caramel, yes, but it's optional. We're gonna blend this baby. The highest. Highest? Yes, right. And this one. Stop. Okay, six minutes later, and it looks like this. It's the color changed and it's really fluffy and creamy. Ceramic. So this is the coffee we just made and we're gonna put it in this cup now with the candle. 30 milliliter. Why is it on the candle? Just to keep it warm? It's warm, yes, right. Uh, because the egg coffee normally we do the warm, the hot coffee, not cold. I tried only the iced one. Uh, not pretty to the spot. Ah, I didn't know. You can the taste different. Okay, let's try the coffee we just made. I am not a fan of black coffee. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so strong. But it's sweet, it's, it's not bitter. Yeah, you see. And not sour, right? It's really flavorful. We are gonna put the egg mixture now on top of the black coffee. Wow. Oh, too much. Okay, there is cacao powder. I'm gonna add that on top now. Oh, it's too much, okay. <laughs> and then there is fire. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Wow. Okay, and now enjoy. Thank you. It's ready now and it's time to try. I actually haven't tried the hot version yet. So let's try. Ooh, do you see the layer? Oh my God, it looks so good. Mm. It's really sweet. Wow, it's so good when it's hot actually. Wow, look how good it looks. It's like dessert. Look like tiramisu. It's really like a dessert, yes, I agree. Perfect combination. Really nice. It tastes actually a little bit like tiramisu. It is really sweet. I wouldn't have this every day, only for like after dinner, like for a dessert or something. But 
It's really, really good. Mm. Healthier for you. And the second one. So this is the two gram of the pink sauce. Not too much. Okay, two or three grams yeah, of salt. You know? So we have cream, two types of whipping cream, milk and salt, and we're gonna mix it now. <laughs> I made a mess already. <laughs> Wow, so satisfying. This is so nice, actually. Okay. Oh One yeah. minute. All right. Salt up here. Please. Condensed milk. There's 10 milliliter, but I'm gonna do five because I don't like it too sweet. Black coffee, 30 milliliter. Always. Okay, then we add ice until the top. Thank you. Okay, and the last one, big cream. cream. Wow, so satisfying. The topping cacao again. Perfect. Dripping. <laughs> and now let's give it a try. Salted coffee. Mm. Wow, I like it because it's iced. I love iced coffee. <laughs> mm. Really good. We're gonna make the famous coconut coffee now, and I am asked to make the coconut milkshake so let's give it a try cooking with janine <laughs> what do i do okay so first of all and now you have to name some ingredient you have to put in the coconut coffee okay <laughs> bam <laughs> and the condensed milk this is gonna be sweet sweet food yeah. okay. perfect let's blend this baby yay Two minutes, okay. So you mix it for around two minutes until it's like the thick cream vibe. It's really thick as you can see. Nice, I love to do this. I miss my days as a bonus star. Black coffee in the cup, nice. And then we add the coconut cream layer on top. This is so funny because I ordered this a lot in restaurants and now I see how it's made. Like I'm definitely gonna try this as well. I like the thick icy part. And can you freeze this again or uh, you have to make it every time again? Yes, fine. Ah, okay. Oh, of course, we almost forgot the topping. The... I'm a mess. <laughs> Everyone saw that, okay. And the topping is the coconut, sugary coconut. Of course, we do a lot because we love sugar. And then this is the final coffee. It looks really good if you ask me. Wow, let's try this one. Mm. I just really love iced coffee. This is so good. I really like it. I'm gonna make this back home in Bali as well. <laughs> well, that was actually so nice. I'm now on the way back and I'm gonna go back home before I'm gonna do horse riding. But this was really, really fun to do. I actually love to cook and I love coffee. So this is all perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. So I booked this tour with get your guide i will put a link down here if you're interested as well i highly recommend to do it and i think they also offer other cooking classes but you can check on get your guide all the options yeah this was so nice okay i actually parked at the neighbor's house like in their backyard because i expected it was there but it wasn't <laughs> so let's walk there now and um, go back home change quickly and then around 4 30 i'm gonna do the horse riding where i'm so excited about i can't wait here is my bike. <laughs> oh, someone else also decided to park next to me, but this is mine. Okay, I made it back from the coffee workshop. I just chilled at my house a little bit because I was so hot. And now I have to go to the horse riding. I changed my outfit again because I think this is a pretty cute outfit for horse riding. So let's go. And actually, I don't have any petrol anymore, but I don't have cash to get petrol. And I don't have time to get cash and I don't feel like getting cash. So I think I can still make it without petrol. Let's try. <laughs> Luckily, I just made it. The baby is standing now. Look how cute. It's so cute. It's really cute. I have the helmet and the hairnet and it's time to go. I have to, I got actually sneakers because I came on my slippers, but let's do it. Is this the one? <laughs> Is it a boy or a girl? Yeah, it's a boy. That's so cute. Hello. Okay, it's all set and we're gonna try it. The little baby there is so cute. So the horse where I am on now is a guy and he's seven years old. Mm-hmm. 
actually so much fun. And look at this cute baby here. Ooh. So he's two days old, right? Hey, I love the white dot as well. And this one is so beautiful. This is a girl. Hey. So this is the mom, right? Oh, mommy and baby, really cute. She's protecting him, the baby. Look how cute this is. This was actually so nice to do. Like it's almost sunset. I had my first lesson, so I'm definitely not a pro yet. Wow. Oh, look at the baby. And he is also learning, I think. It's really cool to see. It was a bit scary in the beginning, but I'm now kind of trusting the horse. And I think you have to experience it many times to get better, of course. So if you're coming to the Nang, it's really nice to try a listen as well. Do they ever bite? Ooh. Yeah, she can bite. He's a baby. Okay, then I'm scared. <laughs> this looks like a cow, actually, the nose. Hello. But they don't bite with their teeth? Yes, just open hand. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard. Like a sponge. Like the hard yeah. side of a sponge. Here, you want more? Good boy. Okay, last one. Look how cute. Like this is true farm life. The cats are drinking here. They're also really tiny actually. It's really cute. It's nice. <laughs> And as you can see, the sun is slowly setting. This was really, really magical to do. Definitely add this to your bucket list if you're gonna go to the mountain. Do you agree? Yeah. I think there's still kittens. I am gonna drive back now. This was so much fun. Definitely make sure to check it out as well if you're gonna go to Da Nang. There are many horses and there is even a newborn baby. So it's really cute. Luckily I made it. <laughs> I don't know if I can still come back home without any petrol, but my home is really close by now. And I actually made it to the beach. The sunset is of course on the other side, but I still really enjoy to be here. Oh, look at this palm tree. Isn't this so beautiful? I really love this vibe here. It feels like ultimate freedom. Oh, and this side, I actually haven't been on this side yet. The beach just continues here because the road stops here. And this is actually where all the expensive resorts are. Oh my God, can you see how big the moon is? But the moon is really big. I am sitting here now, looking at the moon, looking at the beautiful colors of the sky. Finally, not so hot anymore. I feel so crusty, sort of. Do you know when you're like fully covered with sweat and then you dry up again? I had that like five times today. So I'm crusty times five, but I'm, I'm really happy. It's just like the heat is something else, but it's all worth it. It's really worth it. Go to the Nang as well. I just realized it's full moon, I think, today. actually so nice i am now walking back to the scooter and i just met a guy i will give you more info later but this was really really nice okay i'm now in the toilet and i ordered some food for takeaway the rice bowl but i just met a really really nice local guy who can speak english he actually offered me to drive me around because he's a driver and we had like a really nice conversation for one hour and he gave me some tips and his english was really good and i really liked it like I kind of feel more of the culture now because it was so hard to communicate with people. And now I kind of know more and I have a local friend even though he was a little bit old, but it was still fun. I made it back and I got a Kit Kat again. I'm so happy today. I miss my necklace. My necklace is actually my wallet. Like I'm carrying it with me, but I'm not wearing it. But I'm having my necklace here. By the way, this is my own jewelry brand. <laughs> Promotion, but I'm not really focusing on it anymore. Okay, but I'm so happy today because the horse riding was pretty challenging, I have to say. It was like a lesson. So I really learned how to move and how to do all the things. I had to sit and touch my left foot with my right hand and that nine times and nine times is a lot but i actually felt so much more comfortable after the lesson on the horse like horses are so crazy strong but about the guy on the beach he came to me and he gave me uh, like a small business card and his number was written there and the price how much it is to drive to Royal or to another place and then he's like may i sit here and then he sat like one meter away from me but we were having a conversation and his English is really good. I was actually surprised about it. Like he fully understand me. I fully understand him. And he also mentioned like 
I asked him like, yeah, not many people here speak English. Sometimes it's a bit difficult for me to have contact with locals. And I love to have the local experience. If you know me, you know that I don't like the basic traveling. I want to have like the crazy street food and I want to go to all the crazy things. But at, at the same time, I also want to be comfortable. But it's like a balance, you know. And now with him, he gave me some tips to some nice places all the way up north. And like, I don't know, it was so nice. I wanted to go. He also said like, okay, I have your num uh, you have my number, but can I ask your WhatsApp? Uh, so I gave my WhatsApp and now he's like, when I left, he said, you can text me for anything. If you need a good coffee spot or local food spot, just text me. If you need a driver, I'm your local friend now. And I really liked that he said it because I've been looking for that for two weeks now. And now I finally found like a nice guy. He was a bit older, like nothing, nothing weird. But like, I'm just so happy that I can communicate with a local. Mm. Mm -mm. So yeah, that was a little, little update about today. I really enjoyed the coffee workshop. I really enjoyed um, the horse riding and after that the beach. It was really, really nice. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Now, on another note, <laughs> tomorrow I'm checking out of this place. It's an extreme mess. Normally they do cleaning every day I've stayed here. But I think they forgot today. Like everywhere is something that shouldn't be somewhere. Like, okay, on camera it doesn't look so bad, but like... Trust me, I'm not gonna bring you into the bathroom or like my makeup corner there or the closet because it's a really, really big mess. And tomorrow I'm gonna check out, but first in the morning I'm gonna do paragliding. I am so excited for everything. And it's weekend. Mm, mm, mm. So I need to organize all my stuff. I'm gonna shower because I'm so dirty. Pack my bag for tomorrow morning because the paragliding is at eight. And I still don't have petrol and I don't have cash. Mm, it's melting. So I will see you in the morning. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm in bed. My whole face is full with cream and oils. But I am booking my tickets back now because my visa will expire in two weeks. Because I can just stay for 30 days. And I was just checking all the flights and everything. And I'm kind of sad that I didn't book it before because it's only getting more expensive. And now, like the best flight I can find has a 20 hours layover in Ho Chi Minh City. That's where I also landed when I arrived. And I am gonna do it and i'm gonna book one night in ho chi minh i'm gonna book it right now it's always kind of scary to book it but i'm really excited i am gonna go one day to ho chi minh city who expected that <laughs> morning i am stressed because i slept way too late so now i actually have to leave already it's 10 over 7 and i think it's like a 10 minutes drive i have to be there 7 20 so it's like i have to go i have to be outside already now oh my god my hair is a disaster i'm gonna order a grab anyway because i really don't want to risk to come too late without any petrol oh my god my hair this is not okay but I'm gonna straight it really quick. So I first thought it's gonna be cold in the mountains, but I actually don't think so. I don't know, I'm confused, but I'm gonna wear the new vest that I bought. And if I if it's too hot, I will just take it off. Okay, I'm gonna quickly get ready. I'm also gonna wear my shoes and I will see you on the way to the grab because I'm way too overwhelmed now. <laughs> I have arrived at the pickup point and the guy just said hi already. I think this is the parachute. Hello, how are you? Good. <laughs> and we have arrived. Look at Very this. Sunny. Very sunny, yeah. I think we are actually even above the clouds. I'm really curious. Let's give it a try. Okay, so we arrived now at the top. I'm a little bit scared, but let's do it. You're the pilot for my knee. Okay, so we are getting ready now. We're almost ready. We are 600 meters high. As you can see, I'm not going to walk too far because I'm a little bit scared. But as you can see, the views are amazing. Of course, we will see more of the views in the air, but you can even see like the wide layer. Oh, I can see the dragon bridge. Ready? Okay, it's time to take off. I think this is the parachute. Oh my 
my god guys this is amazing you can see the lady buddha behind me <laughs> and the blue blue ocean there i am definitely gonna check out that beach <laughs> when i am down again and here you can see the amazing view over the city and the high buildings it actually doesn't look so high right now because we are really high of course <laughs> but uh it's really really beautiful and here you can see a lake this is the beach where I'm talking about. Look how blue this ocean water is. Wow. Woo! Really nice. Wow, look at all the boats down here. It's really nice to see. And you can even see the reflection of us. This is the best way to wake up. <laughs> how often do you do this? Do you do it every day? Yes, I do it every day. One day maybe uh, seven to ten times. Seven to ten times? Yes. Wow, that's a lot. That's a good job, you know. <laughs> you have a dream job. <laughs> uh -huh. Wow, look how blue the ocean water is, by the way. Wow, this is the pickup point. That's where I came this morning. That's so crazy. We're now above the road. Oh my god, this is so crazy. Oh my god, we're really like flying like a bird on this height. Like my drone will see this view as well. Oh my god, this is so cool. We're gonna land on the sand. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. Ah! I'm scared. Very easy with you. Good job! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, good! Wow, that was so fast! It was yeah. so fast, it was like less than 10 minutes maybe. Yes, because at today we need not go very yes. low. Okay. Not perfect for takeoff. So today it's not really windy, that's why it was pretty quick, but it was still really, really fun, guys. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> so that was it, this was the parachute, which you can see before and now he's packing everything. And we're back at the point where we also started. And now I can't wait to have some breakfast, so I'm gonna order a grab again and I'm gonna go to the cafe. Oh look, there are some other people who are going. Wow, they're gonna land on the sand as well. Oh my god. There, they landed. Okay, I walked a little bit away and I just booked a grab. He will be here any moment and I'm gonna go for breakfast. It was uh, really nice to do this and especially to land on the beach because I've never done that before. Okay, I made it back around one hour ago already and I've been just chilling in bed, but I have to check out in 30 minutes. So I'm gonna say goodbye. To this apartment i actually can recommend it but i don't know i'm just sensitive for scary things and if you go here i recommend to stay in the front but yeah i just booked something in hoyang for one night it's around one hour to drive to go there so i'm now gonna pack my bags i'm gonna pack one bag that i'm gonna bring and the other bag i'm gonna bring already to my new apartment i need to fill the petrol and then i'm gonna go to hoyan where i'm so excited about because that's like an old school village danang where i stay now is like pretty modern there it's like the opposite like it's really old school with the romantic lakes rivers and everything so i cannot wait and i booked a really nice place for for only eight dollars so if you don't want to miss that video don't forget to subscribe i will see you in my next videos bye Hello. my bike was here but it's not here anymore 10 out of 10 wow. beautiful hello hello mr camera <laughs> this is where i'm scared of a shark Oh, <laughs> they eat human, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is hiding under the coconut tree.